In this podcast, we're going to learn how to USB tether your Android phone to your Mac OS X computer in order to share your LTE connection with your computer. We're going to do this with a open source utility called Horrendous, although it's spelt a little differently, by Joshua Wise. So we'll start off by going to joshuawise.com forward slash horrendous. And once we're there, we get to his project page, and we could scroll down about halfway through the page. And when we're there, we'll see available versions, and you will download the latest version and save the binary file. Once downloaded, uh, it brings you to the installer. Simply click through the installer after reading the text. It has a, a GNU general public license. We're going to install it on the local hard drive. Authenticate ourselves using our username and password. And then the installation utility installs it right on our computer. It takes a little bit less than about 30 seconds, and then when it's done, we should get our Mac OS X install noise, our alert. There we go. It's now done. We can close it out. And at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my Samsung Galaxy S4. So the next step is for me to turn off the Wi-Fi on my MacBook Pro. And I'll turn off the Wi-Fi. You'll see it turn off in the network connections on the right-hand side of the screen here. Now I'll be plugging in my Samsung Galaxy S4 via USB and opening the settings menu. And under the settings connections, what I'm looking for uh, is about halfway down on the screen, and it's called More Networks. You can see it over here. I'm going to click on More Networks. Once I click on More Networks, it will bring me to the Wireless and Networks setup, and I'm looking for Tethering, which is the third one down. And I will click on Tethering, which will bring me to the Tethering menu, and I want to check Mobile Broadband Connection. And once it's set up, it will say Tethered. You will see the Samsung Android appear in your network connections. And several seconds later, after it obtains an IP address, if it's working correctly, it will turn green, go to the top, and you will be able to see the IP address and all the other information on the right hand side. This is how we know we're successful, but we want to still try it out. So um, on the web browser, I'm just going to go to my own website, want.us, my portal, and it loads very quickly. Um, let's go to speedtest.net and do a speed test. Again, this is all over the Samsung Galaxy S4. I'm not using Wi-Fi or any other connection. I am tethered via USB cable. It is a fast and secure connection. But let's test out Verizon's network here, and we'll see how Verizon Wireless in New York City is performing. Getting uh, in the upper fives, almost six megabits per second, which is pretty good. So we have a download speed of 5.68 megabits per second. And the upload uh, is a little slow. I would, would like to see a faster upload speed, 1.8 megabits per second. And that's it. It works. My name is Adam Scott Want, professor and technologist from John Jay College of Criminal Justice, which is part of the City University of New York. And this is my short tutorial on how to tether your Android phone to your Mac computer, USB tethering with horrendous. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe, or ask questions, and I will come and answer them.